Josh from PsychoHunters.com, and today we have a 2014 Harley Davidson 883 iron. So, in the Sportster line, this is their somewhat quote bobber looking Sportster, and right off the bat, you can tell in that all matte black finish that this is one sinister looking bike. So with the 883, right off the bat, you can tell a couple little things. Obviously it has the iconic Sportster peanut tank on it, but this also has the dust covers on the forks, which is sort of a bobber kind of a, a trademark. Now, this Sportster has some aftermarket add-ons. The coolest one, obviously, being the Vance & Hines Shorties, which we're going to hear those in a little bit, but it is a great, great sounding bike. This one has definitely some pop and some attitude for sure. Also has the uh, little custom piece on the air cleaner. There's one on the case on the other side. It's got the skull. This has Arlen Ness grips you can see these rubber knurled this really feels like good quality uh grips the mirrors are an aftermarket mirror little touches like that sort of set the bike off and obviously you know it's nice because you kind of make it yours as you go along now this one also has um little silver accents here and there like you can see on the front wheel especially you know it's Powder coated black, but you can also see the silver. Very clean bike as we get into this. Not a whole lot for blemishes. There's little things, little rub marks, little things here and there. Not a whole lot. Little piece look right up in here. Oh, let's see. There's a little one right there. But the Sportsters, these 883s, now if you are somebody that's been wanting to get into a Harley-Davidson, this is definitely the way to go, especially if you're a newer rider or somebody that really hasn't done a whole lot of riding because of all the Harleys, this is probably one of the more lighter weight, more nimble bikes to get. And the seat height, I believe, is 26.7 inches, so it's a low seat height. And it makes it easy for pretty much anybody to throw a leg over. You can kind of see down here. Just a custom cover. How clean everything really is. This also has the, the backrest here. That is a quick release. Now, this is cool because this pops right here and you just push this forward. Same for this side and it pops right up. Just snap it back into place. So if you want to have that look with the uh, the backrest on it with the sissy bar, it does sort of complete the whole look of the bike. But if you feel like taking it off and have a little bit more of that bobber look, it is that easy to do. Super easy to take it right off. So this is a five-speed 883 motor. It makes so uh, 53.8 foot-pounds of torque. So if you're somebody that wants to take it for a ride on a trip, it will absolutely do it. But it feels way more at home commuting, going back and forth to work, bar hopping maybe. Just a lot of fun. So let's see here. As we get into the controls... Simple stuff. Your trip meter, your horn, your lights high and low, your left turn signal, your right turn signal, your starter, hazards, and your kill switch. Now if you notice, I don't really have a key that I put in anywhere. So what it comes with is the fob. So that fob, I think it needs to be within about 10 feet of the bike in order for it to start. So this one has 5,167 miles on it. For a 2014, that's really nothing at all. So let's see here. Here's left turn signal in the front. 
left rear. Right rear and right front. This also, let's see, we can do high and low beam here so you can see that. So that's high beam, that's low beam. High beam, low beam. And you can see these running lights here, these are clear. But when you go to hit your turn signal, they go yellow. So cool little feature like that. So you get those extra running lights, a little bit more of a cross section of light so that you're more easily seen. All right. This gets roughly about 50 miles per gallon. So again, an everyday bike, you could take this really wherever you want to go, but it is more at home in commutes and running around. But if you like, you could put some saddlebags on the bike. You could put your passenger on the bike and just go for an all-day ride and have fun. Or take a trip down to the beach. This bike's able to do pretty much whatever you want it to do. But where it does have some shortcomings is that when you're out on the highway and you want that extra gear, now well, it's not really for that. This is a bike that is definitely made so that you can do some some hopping around here and there from place to place but it can do whatever you want it to do for the most part like i said all right so let's go ahead and see what this baby sounds like got it on here we're in neutral oh yeah oh goodness yeah Such a good sounding bike. It's got that attitude, that low rumble growl. Sounds like a Harley. It's exactly what you want to hear when you thumb the starter. Oh yeah. Now this also has the forward controls. As you can see, he's flipped down here. Makes it real nice, real comfortable ride. You can see how thin it is through the center. So somebody that's newer to riding, you can pretty much hop on this bike and feel comfortable. Now, it is heavier than a lot of bikes at size, but at the same time, in comparison to Harleys, like say a Road King, it is way, way lighter. Much lighter than what you might actually think. But in really good shape all over the place. You can see, like I said, paint wise, it's really nice. Couple little blemishes here and there, but that's really it, what I showed you. Tank is in great shape. Just a good looking bike. Definitely a lot of style. Real good, comfortable, smooth ride. Got enough power to get you where you want to go but this one is all about having fun as all motorcycles really are but it's just a matter of what makes you smile when you open up the garage door and this is something you know if you're looking for like i said that harley especially that first one well that's definitely going to be putting a smile on your face without a doubt good looking bike now this has the battery tender lead on it. Every one of our bikes gets a 48 point checklist. So what that entails is we go over the bike as much as we possibly can to ensure that when you get it, it's as close to 100% as we can make it. So oil and filter, those are basic things for us. We're really checking the charging systems. If it needs it, it gets it. Tires, whatever it needs, we're doing our best to make sure. There's a lot of meat on that one. But we're doing our best to make sure that when you get it, all you're doing is going to ride. You're not worried about anything. 
good meat on the tire. Good looking bike. A little bit of a scuff there. I think there's also like this little bit here on the exhaust pipe. A little bit of a scuff there. But they're all used bikes that we have here. So you're going to have some of these things. Little blemishes from time to time. But overall, that's what you're getting. I would definitely think that's going to make you happy. Such a good looking Harley. That whole bobber attitude, blacked out, sinister look with a great sound. Such a cool bike. So if you're digging the 2014 Harley Davidson 883 Iron, give us a call. 717-273-1809. You can see the full list of inventory at www.cyclehunters.com. You can email us at cyclehunters at gmail.com. Now we have some financing options available. We have aftermarket warranties available. We can ship bikes in some cases. We can deliver them too. It really just kind of boils down to what is it that we need to do to accommodate you so that you can put that baby in your garage. So that when you're ready to go ride, that's staring at you. And that is an awesome looking bike. Without a doubt. So remember to hit like and subscribe. Ding the notification bell. We very much appreciate any of the comments and the questions that you guys have. We love the interaction. Motorcycling, as you know, is one of the most pleasurable fun things that you can do and you get a bike that matches your personality and really is just an extension of you it takes it to another level and that's what it's all about is trying to maximize that bit of time that you get to go ride so maybe you're working constantly and you get a little bit of chance to ride well it's got to hit all all those buttons for you and when it does <laughs> i mean the fun that you can have on a bike it is immeasurable and it's funny where sometimes if you gotta try to explain it to somebody you really just gotta hand them some keys and say go for a ride especially if they know how to ride but anyway check that out well until the next bike happy riding